Hey you guys, it's Jen. Today I am doing a crazy declutter. I say crazy, but it's not going to be like huge 50% of my stuff crazy. It's just going to be like, I need to make room and I need to be serious about some stuff that I haven't really been serious about. Lately I have been trying quite a few things in my shop, my stash, and um, it's really helping me see things that I want to get moving. And I actually didn't want to do this until I would say the end of maybe the year, maybe end of 2020, just to kind of get everything out fresh for the next year. But um, I'm accumulating things that are going to help me with my promotional, like not promo, I don't know how to explain this, but um, I want to post Instagram pictures and I want to do stuff. I'm selling mascara beauty products and I want to take my own pictures now and stuff. So I have like this all this stuff that I have to put in my vanity somewhere and I have like no room. I do have quite a bit of stuff um like I have quite a bit of room actually in my vanity but also I have just stuff in there that I'm not enjoying so I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go through my entire collection with you guys. I might break this up into a couple of different parts just because I'm not really sure how long this might take. So I might do like brushes and that kind of stuff separate. Um, I'm probably gonna put like all my makeup in one. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna work that. So just bear with me right now. I'm at the very beginning just thinking through this. Um, I created this eye look today. I just had a blast creating it. It's a little sloppy now because I have been wearing it for so many hours and I had to reapply the inner deepen shade and it's not as um, uh, blended out as I would like. But I went out and I, for some reason, I think I have allergies or something because my eyes just got all watery. So I, I just, you know, I had a little bit of like I had to clean up in the inner side. Uh, and my hair is a mess and stuff, but I just had so much fun. Like from here up with my mask, it was fine. But the rest of me, this part down, doesn't have any makeup or anything. So just bear with me. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to just rearrange my camera so you guys can see everything that I'm doing. And we're going to go through this together. So the first drawer, and I apologize, sorry, before I start. <laughs> if you can hear my son's um, TV show in the background, he's watching some like little baby bums and giggle bellies and all that kind of stuff on YouTube right now. So I don't own the rights to anything of that. He's just having a good time being such a good boy watching his little shows. Um, I'm not going to get rid of any of my lashes because so far I think they're all okay and I still want to try a couple before I get rid of any and also with October coming up I want to keep because I don't really want to go out and buy anything any anywhere right now. Um, this one I kind of want to go through a little bit here. So at, at the very front this is like all my mascara beauty stuff. So I have like a ton of empty palettes. I need to find a spot for all my empty palettes. Um, some uh, promotional stuff that they give you. Okay, I'm hoping this works. Um, I want to find a spot entirely that I can have all my extra mascara beauty stuff in because it's sitting in here, but I would like it to have its own spot. Um, I also have a ton of like single shadow or sing like not single shadows, but little pans in here, like little palettes. So I have a ton of like little MAC ones, little Huda ones. I have um, some, I have a Lorac Pro, a Lorac Pro Matte. I love this. I'm going to keep that one for sure. Ah! Um, I also have two of these Naked Basics, the Naked Basics 1 and Naked Basics 2, and I'm not sure if I want to keep either of those. Ah! Like, I kind of like this one a little bit, but... Um, this is the one that I've used a couple times and I just feel like, I don't know, like I just, I don't, I don't use them and I don't love them. I think what I might do is put them in my next shot, my stash, or even just take them out now and put them in there because I'm not sure that I want to continue using those. And then I have this buxom one that is absolutely beautiful. It's called Dolly Mix, I believe. Nope, Dolly's Wild Side, sorry. Dolly's Wild Side. Hi, baby. Mm -hmm. Love you so much. And it looks like this. And it's really pretty. Like, it has some really, really nice shades. Really beautiful shades. 
but um, I mean these aren't anything that I don't have in other palettes and I never ever gravitate toward this so I don't know like when I swatch these things like I totally want to hang on to them because they're nice but do I use them no so what's this like see like I have a million shades like this I don't need that one and same thing with this it's just a hair darker like oh but these three shades are like the reason that I kind of hang on to it. I hope you can see I have my ring light as close as I can so that you guys can see a little better. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure. I think this is going to be a maybe for now. So I'll take that out. Um, I don't know what to do. I think let's just swatch see this is unused like entirely unused so I could sell these like I don't even like Urban Decay eyeshadows if I'm being completely honest it's not that I despise them I just prefer other brands so I mean you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna pass these along so those are for sure. I'm going to pass those along and I think I'm going to hang on to the Buxom ones like this. I'm going to hang on to this one for now and put that in my next shot my stash. And then I have to take these out to get to the stuff in the back. So my next little compartment is my MAC stuff and like I don't want to get rid of any of this stuff and the reason I have these individual pans is because I have to pan them out of the compacts and put them into an actual palette and I have these ones which are really cute but I never use them but I'm going to bring those out into another shop my stash and same thing with these these pigments they're super old you can tell just by the packaging they're huge and old and I need to start using them or get rid of them but I'm gonna keep the rest in fact I think I'm gonna keep everything else except ooh let's go through this so this is all of my pigments so all the stuff that I have that's loose and I might get rid of some of my uh, holiday collection MAC ones. So let's go through some of those quickly. So I'm going to keep this one that's called Leader because it swatches like this the little the white casty type cream there um because i got rid of uh, i think it's called new year's eve from makeup geek and it looks very similar so i'm gonna hang on to that one uh, i'm gonna keep tan pigment i'm gonna keep whisper pink pigment rose pigment i'm keeping that is the most gorgeous ever pigment ever um pretty it up that's a different one i'm gonna check what this one looks like it's it looks a little like satiny so i'm gonna see it kind of re reminds me a little bit of utopia oh it's not at all like it's just a straight up pigment color um do i need this have a look. What do you guys think? It's this one right here. I'm considering like passing that along. I just have so many colors like that. Don't close that, babe. He likes to make sure all the drawers are closed. Vanilla pigment and naked pigment. Hi, sweetheart. Well, we can't do that right now, baby. English guilt. I think I'm going to keep all the rest of them. And I think I'm going to get rid of pretty it up. So I'll declutter this one, which breaks my heart because I love Mac so very, very much. 
And I'm not going to get rid of any of the other pigments that I have because I just went through a bunch of them. So those are okay. And I'm keeping back here is like all my glitters and my um, cream eyeshadows. And I'm going to just keep all of those because I want to. This next drawer is my highlighters. Um, so these are, you can see there's some drugstore ones up in the front here. And the rest are all like mid-end or high-end. Uh, do I have any high-end? I guess I don't think I have any that I would classify personally as high-end. Um, so to me, all of these names are like mid-end. Um, I don't have like um, Givenchy or Yves Saint Laurent or um, anything like that. Any high, like I consider those high-end. Um, but anything that's just like, yeah, mid range price i yeah i don't consider that high end so most of these are like there's drugstore here there's drugstore here there's some in the back there's all my setting powders like right in back here and then my face powders are here and these are loose and then just an extra highlighter that i can't fit in here and i just got rid of some so i don't think i'm going to get rid of anything in here right now um I hate, sorry, I hate when people tap on the cartons. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. The one thing that I'm considering getting rid of is I'm So Lit by Wet n Wild. I'm gonna swatch it. And actually this Master Chrome one, is this even, did I even like it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it seems okay. But this I'm So Lit from Wet n Wild, I thought it was going to be so great because I saw a whole bunch of swatches and tutorials and it just, it looks so nice when I swatch it, but it just, when I put it on, when I used it in my last Shop My Stash, it just kind of looked so cheap. Um, so I'm going to hang on to that for now and play around with it for a little while. I do want to get the Lit, um... I think this is called milk makeup this is the only thing that i have from milk and i'm gonna actually get i think the one called lit i would love to get that one i just don't have any extra spending cash right now um i just exchanged one of my foundations which i'll get into in a second for a new eyeshadow palette and so i that money that i use towards the difference i put towards the palette instead of getting another highlighter because clearly i don't need any more right now I hope you guys can see this here. This is all of my MAC blushes. Um, I just went through this and I just decluttered, I would probably say four or five. So I have a lot of loose areas going on right now. Plus a couple of them right here are in my shop, my stash. So I'm using those at the moment. So um, I have a couple that like, I kind of just, I need to put them back in eventually, but then um, I think I, there's a couple I kind of want to get rid of actually, but I don't really know because I want to wait until after winter, I think, to see if I like it. Yeah, maybe I'll wait just because I have so many that I have to test out and yeah, I'll, I'll leave this for now. You can tell it looks really empty because um, I did declutter a bunch. Okay, I hope you guys can. I just, I always hope you can see. I can't really tell if you can see. So um, try and lower my light here. Um, this is actually in my shop, my stash, so I have to put that back in there. This is my mascara beauty makeup, which I absolutely love and I've been wearing a lot. Of course, I'm selling it, so I'm wearing it quite a bit, but I love it so much. I think it's fantastic product and um, I haven't really been touching a lot of other stuff right now. So yeah, I have to get to using what I own. I have a ton of samples from ordering so much from April on because I haven't bought makeup in like four years. And then finally I decided, honey, don't do that, okay? Finally, I decided that I would um, go ahead and splurge. I have some setting powders and most of these are foundations or concealers of some kind. There is a cream in here. So, um, 
I'm not really doing a whole good job <laughs> trying to get rid of this stuff. Well, I'm, I just have a whole bunch of samples that are like foundations, concealers, and setting powders. I definitely want to use this for sure because um, the Laura Mercier Translucent Glow, it has like a, a two shades now. And I think this is the lighter shade. It looks like it would be because this one looks a little deeper. So I definitely want to try this out because it's something that I'm interested in looking for later. Um, I am so torn between things like do I want to get rid of stuff I have a whole bunch of bronzers in the back here what are these okay so my contour powders my bronzers my banana powders okay I'm gonna leave those back there I'm not gonna get rid of any of that stuff because I really enjoy using it I and I kind of really need to minimize stuff but at the same time I have been decluttering so many things that I really don't know what to get rid of I think I have more um, thought of eyeshadow palettes that I want to move out of my collection and not so much my highlighters or blushes or bronzers because my blushes I really like I've decluttered so many blushes already my bronzers are new except for a couple of MAC ones and stuff um, and this one is really old but I freaking love it I'm not getting rid of it this is the Lee Swatchy Havana all over baked bronzer this is so nice it kind of smells a little but it's so gorgeous this is brand new I haven't even used it um, I have another highlight powder or do I have another highlighting a new one I can't even remember I have just so much stuff here that it's a, it's kind of overwhelming and also it's fun <laughs> I have this MAC one that's new I haven't touched like anything in this area basically except for what I've used in my shot mace stash and um yeah I got rid of my Marc Jacobs foundation that I had recently bought and I bought it quite a few shades darker because I wanted to just add it to foundations that I already own so that I could mix and match but then I also ended up getting this for free which is a really nice dark beautiful like caramel looking shade in the shade 13 and I just add this to my stuff so I bought this one and I also bought a backup in the shade number four so th there's like a couple of different shades there for me to use and then I have this this I might get rid of actually this is a bronzer a cream bronzer from Fenty Beauty I'm just not sure how I feel about cream bronzers right now but I might hang on to it because I am using the mascara beauty makeup and cream makeup so Maybe I will actually use it, but the rest of the stuff I kind of want to hang on to because again, I have decluttered so much. I probably just recently got rid of like five foundations. Oh, here's some more samples. So yeah, I think I'm just going to put my samples back and I'm going to have to start using through those. And so these are my um, eyeshadow some of my eyeshadow palettes anyways uh, most of these are my little mac ones back here so they're just the really short ones i decluttered one of those and then this anything that has a package on it is new i don't know why i have this in here this needs to come out of here this is the violet voss vibes i have actually tried one color so i can put that away because i've tried it um, and then I have a couple, like I have a drugstore one in here. This is new from Violet Voss. I have two um, Natasha Denona palettes that I haven't tried yet. So I have a bunch of things that I haven't tried. These are all my MAC makeup. These are all my Huda Beauty and I have one in my Shop My Stash. And then I have, again, my Mascara Beauty um, individual like single eyeshadows and underneath here is the highlighter so eventually this will all be mascara beauty eyeshadows but I have to take my time in purchasing because I don't just want to go crazy so I think I'm keeping all of those and then in here I am like in a rock at a hard place with some of these because I want to love them and I want to use them but I haven't really gone through my shop my stash so I think what I'm going to do is I'm definitely going to get rid of my modern renaissance 
because al although it is really pretty and stuff like that, it has really nice shades. Um, I think it's just, I don't use it. I was using it in a Shop My Stash and I, for some reason I just wasn't enjoying um, the payoff. I wasn't enjoying the colors. Like, and these are all colors that I can pretty much find in all of my new palettes. So, and if I want to, I can repurchase this again at a later date. So, yeah. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I just need to get a wipe. Yeah, that other one was the only one that I really, really wanted to get rid of. There's another drugstore one back here. I don't have many. I probably have maybe two drugstore palettes and I probably won't buy any more honestly because I'm not a fan. Um, I really enjoyed these, these Stila palettes. I'm going to bring those out again in another Shop My Stash. I didn't quite mind the um, Too Faced chocolate bar or semi-sweet chocolate bar palette. That one was actually really nice to use and it didn't seem expired or anything but I decluttered the chocolate bar palette. I liked the Bon Bon's palette okay. That was decent i mean these are not like my favorite they're not the most amazing things and honestly it wouldn't kill me if they were like gone but um i keep them because i like to have a selection to play with and all my lorac ones that's something that i need to test out again can you even see all of these there we go and then i have these ones i really liked playing with my tartlet ones and my tartlet and tartlet in bloom i really liked playing with those these Urban Decay ones, I have a ton. And I don't mind these ones. And I don't mind the Moon Dust ones and the Electric Palette. I don't mind that one. But this one I am going to have to try. It is the After Dark Palette. I'm going to try this one and see if I want to get rid of that down the road as well. Because it's just something that I don't use. And then I also have the Naked Basics here. So I'm going to hang on to this one because it has more warm shades and some purplery shades. So I'm going to keep this one and get rid of those other ones. So I'm actually okay with that because I have a lot. When I look in here, I have a lot of neutral shades. These are another one that I'm kind of like not sure about. These are the Makeup Forever palettes. And I'm just not sure. This is, there's one and four. So mm -hmm. I'm not sure what I want to do there yet. But... Mm -hmm. I think that's it for there. So this drawer is all of my essentials. This is stuff that I use on the daily. Um, I actually did have that out because I'm almost done it and I want to put this in a project pan um, because I'm almost done and I want to just get rid of it. So I have it with my other items that I'm panning a little bit and some of these items are also just things that I use on the daily. So these are mostly concealers and brow products here and then these and this one are my smaller test samples of primers and then like um tweezers and stuff like that this looks nasty and should probably be washed um so yeah lots of samples and stuff in this drawer i have floss i have um like hair ties and um, hair clips and my cotton rounds and then a lot of eye primers and concealers here all of my um, eyeliners any kind of eyeliner so pencil or liquid or gel that's all in there and then back here is just little stuff like scissors extra um, eyelash curlers some other stuff like toothpicks and things so that's I'm not getting rid of anything in this drawer this drawer um, I'm probably not going to get rid of anything in here right now. I just received some samples from a friend, so I'll probably try those out. Um, a lot. These are all MAC eyeshadows, right? Or MAC lipsticks, pardon me, here. I have all my lip pencils in here. And then all my liquid stuff. My liquid stuff in here. Um, and then, yeah, so all my liquid lipsticks and my lip primer. So I'm not going to get rid of any of those because I do want to start using those for the upcoming months, especially for like Halloween is coming up and things and I want to have really fun lipsticks. Plus I just decluttered a bunch of lipsticks, but um, I do want to use through a bunch, so I will have to do that. 
yeah, not getting rid of anything in this drawer, I guess. So this is a problem drawer for me. Um, it's just a bunch of makeup bags that I probably will never really use. I probably will use these two maybe and a couple of skinny ones and the rest I probably don't need but I have such a hard time for some reason getting rid of them. So <laughs> I'll have to go through those on my own time or maybe when I go through my brushes I'll go through those too. This drawer is my brushes and accessories and like where I keep extra drawers and stuff like that and sponges. So not getting rid of anything in this video. So this drawer I think I'm okay with. Um, these are my tissues. My son pulled every single last one of them out of the Kleenex box and I folded them up again <laughs> and put them into my drawer. Um, yeah, I have old perfume that I need to actually get into. I have um, some brow gels and things in here that don't fit anywhere else, old, like older concealers that I need to actually use through. Um, in the back is like my nail stuff. I don't even do my nails. Like you can tell I don't even do my nails. <laughs> I don't care if they're different lengths. I don't care if they break. It doesn't bother me. Um, I have lotions. I have baby shampoo for my washing my brushes. Yeah, two different nail polish removers and isopropyl alcohol so that um, I can clean my palettes and stuff off, especially if I'm selling them or giving them away. Um, my favorite primer ever. This is <laughs> Sorry. My favorite primer ever. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance, and this one is in the yellow. Sorry about that. Then I have some setting mist, so I have the Too Faced one, I have a couple of MAC backups, I have my Coconut Fix Plus, um, and then I have some setting sprays, uh, this is the Revolution, like drugstore ones, I have two of the Revolution ones, and I have, um, I need to get rid of this one, or not get rid of it, but like use it up, so that's the Urban Decay All Nighter, and I have the Urban Decay um, D-Slick, because I am very oily. And I have one of these that I'm actually, I have in a project pan. This one's full, so I have to use that up too. I have my isopropyl alcohol here where I spray things like that I need to clean. Um, and then of course just a ton of makeup removers. I have like a ton I'm trying out. This one is the closest that I can find to Femme Couture. I absolutely love Femme Couture. It's my very favorite and they don't sell it anymore at um, Sally Beauty, which breaks my heart not in Canada anyway and then I also got this silicone primer from the ordinary which I really have to probably move somewhere else but it's fine there for now and then the last thing is my brush cleaner from Mac which again I'm gonna need some new stuff soon under my bunch of Kleenexes here I have some like extra um, mascaras for some reason I've lost my train of thought sorry about that I have a couple of extra things too for when I do other people's makeup but I don't really do that anymore so I think this drawer is okay uh, oh yeah my mar my cellar water which I haven't tried yet um, so I have a ton of things I really need to start getting through and just using up but none of the stuff I really need to get rid of so I'm good with this drawer and this drawer has my extra stuff so this is my new palette i will definitely do a video on that um, i have my portable studio from amazon that i want to take pictures of my mascara beauty stuff in and a melt warmer and my melt warmer for when my pants like i need them to um sort of go straight again to the bottom like you know when you repress a powder well that's kind of like repressing a cream but you just warm it and it melts to the bottom again which is awesome and then I have a whole bunch of these extra things I got from Amazon they're just the brush switch ups so I got those there I have to find a spot for all of that I have extra palettes here like Z palettes and Sephora palettes and then all of my big tall palettes and I don't think I want to get rid of ugh, any of these either because actually this one I might I don't think I'll ever use this if I'm being completely honest. It's the Lorac Pro 2. Like if I'm keeping this, I don't know why. Because I don't even enjoy the colors that are in here. I know a lot of people really like these cool tones, but my eyes are blue. I never really wear olive or blue quartz or anything. The only one that goes, like my eyes go here right away. Like these shades. 
and that's it. Everything else is just kind of like whatever. So I don't know. I think I might declutter this too. Yeah, I'm going to declutter that too. I don't need to have a whole collection of eyeshadows that I'm not even using. Um, and then I like everything else in here. So I think I am just going to keep it at that. And oh no, I'm not done yet actually. So in this little guy right here, um, I have quite a bit of stuff going on. This is my shop my stash stuff. I'm working on most of these lipsticks. I'm not going to get rid of like anything in the top here because I really want to try to actually use it. Lipsticks are really hard for me to go through right now because of the quarantine and COVID-19. And I'm not really wearing lipstick because wearing a mask is mandatory in most places. Um, so I have a bunch of stuff in here. I'm going to keep all this stuff, I believe. Um, keeping all that, all of that. This one I'm considering decluttering because I haven't actually ever really used it and I am not really sure how I feel about it. I think it's just an overspray on top of a really light blush. So I might just use the overspray or see what it's like and then I'll, I might declutter that. What a waste of money, honestly. <laughs> like I don't even know if I'm going to enjoy it, but I'm going to try it. And then here this is okay but i'm gonna actually you know this is gonna blow everyone away i'm sure because i love mac so much but i'm gonna declutter this this is my um let's see eyeshadow times 15 cool neutral and it just it looks so bland to me like there's nothing going on here it doesn't bring me life it doesn't I don't know it just doesn't do it for me it looks like you're supposed to use the five shades along each to make your look but I just I'm not a fan I've used it this is why I use my I do my shot my stashes because they show me what I really like it in my stash and what I really want to keep and this just hasn't cut it for me at all and so I'm definitely going to pass this along as well so I've actually gotten rid of a lot a lot of eyeshadow today and I think that's pretty much the only thing I've decluttered from my entire um, stash so I'm gonna show you guys right here so this is everything that I'm getting rid of right here it's all eyeshadow I'm getting rid of this Mac pretty it up again I'll show you the swatch of this it's really pretty like I'm sure, like I'm sure it would be nice, but it's just, I don't know. Can you see that? I'm just not enjoying, like I, I don't use it. I have other eyeshadows that look similar. And if I'm going to use anything that resembles that, it's going to be, um, what's the one that I just said from Makeup Geek? <laughs> it's, um... Oh, it was tip of my tongue. You guys know what I'm talking about. I just said it earlier. So I'm going to get rid of this and I'm just going to keep the other one because I like it so much better. And yes, this is really pretty, but it's just, I think I need to get rid of that. So, and then I have both of these um, Naked Basics palettes. So I'm going to get rid of both of these. Oops. I'm going to get rid of both of these because I have the other Naked Basics and in all honesty like I had some of these like Skimp and Venus and Foxy. These were all in other palettes that I own and I got rid of them so why am I going to keep these if I don't enjoy using them and I have ridiculous amounts of neutral eyeshadow. And this one really pains me because how beautiful the eyeshadows actually are. But I'm just not in love with this palette anymore. I have so many of the same shades and newer palettes that I want to actually try out. And then again, the one I just showed you, my MAC Times 15 Cool Neutral and my Lorac Mega Pro 2. I actually feel really good about the palettes that I'm getting rid of. Um, I feel like zero connection to these, um, like I said, except for this little row here. This tangerine one is like really exciting to me, but I'm, I'm over it. Like I'm good not hanging on to this. So I'm going to find new homes for these little guys and that's it. 
So thank you guys so much for watching this um, declutter. Eventually down the road I will do a brush declutter and possibly more. And please don't mind my mess. I have so much stuff going on. I need to find room and I need to like reorganize and stuff. But for now this is it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.